Hi there, this is Than, Operations Manager at Stitch. You're here because you're considering using Tableau to visualize your data. Awesome! Tableau is a powerful business intelligence tool that you can use to build interactive visualizations on top of your data. But first, you need a ready store of up-to-date data to work with. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can use Stitch to get the data into a data warehouse and then analyze it with Tableau. Let's pretend we work for a company with a subscription-based pricing model. We're going to need a report that shows how many new paying customers join each month. Let's use Stitch to stream live data to a database from our payment processor, and then connect that database to Tableau. Some of our customers use Stitch to consolidate dozens of data sources for analysis, but in this video, we'll focus on data from Zora. First, Go to stitchdata.com and create an account. Then we'll add a data source. I'm going to connect Zora. Stitch can stream data from over 70 sources right out of the box. Then I'll select the tables and objects that I'd like to stream into the data warehouse. Now that was pretty easy, but if we had run into any problems, our support team is here to help out. Once you've connected your data sources, the next step is to connect a data warehouse. Stitch supports sending data to Redshift, BigQuery, Snowflake, Postgres, Amazon S3, and Panoply. You can also start with one warehouse today and migrate to a new one in the future using Stitch. If you don't have a warehouse yet, Panoply is a great option because you can create a new warehouse with one click from within Stitch. The Panoply warehouse is now automatically connected to Stitch. Hang on to these credentials, we're going to need them. On the integrations page in Stitch, we can see that data has started streaming into the warehouse. Next I'll head over to Tableau and connect it to Panoply using the credentials from the prior step. Just like that, Tableau has access to our data. Now we can build that report and see how many new paying accounts we acquire each month. To start off, let's take the accounts and payments tables and join them together using an inner join. An inner join here means that accounts without payments will be eliminated from my data set. I'll join on account ID. Now that the data is ready, I'll head over to my sheet and build my bar graph. First, I'll select the count of distinct IDs and drop it into the rows field. Then I'll grab the create a date for the account and display it by month. I'll exclude the first month when we loaded all of our existing clients into Zorro. Looks like there's a nice pattern of growth here. This might serve as a jumping off point for additional analysis, and maybe we'd like to add other sources for data, like Zendesk, Salesforce, or Jira, and add additional contexts and dimensions. I hope this overview was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can send us a note at sales at stitchdata.com. Thanks for watching.